Hello beautiful people, this is Vlad from Synaptic Schism and today I'm going to tell you about the banks that I have created for Reticulate and what they have. You will find a link, a Dropbox link in the description and you can download the Rebanks. The idea for this video appeared because I was contacted by one of you, by one of the people that watch my videos, uh, asking if I could make available uh, the banks, which I'm more than happy to, to do so. And like it has happened with other videos, it's really cool to have these conversations with all of you, be it in the comments or directly by email or something like that. So just feel free to contact, leave comments, and just have a conversation. It's really cool to create these videos coming from ideas that you have, because I feel that I'm helping more with it, okay? So if you download the file, what you will find is this, this file, okay? Now, if you copy this reticulate dot rebank on top of your rebank, it's going to delete everything, so don't do that. What you should be doing is you edit this file and then you copy whatever you want to your file and then you delete this line, okay? Because this line is generated automatically by, by Reticulate. So copy the stuff that you want to copy, delete this line. You will also have to manually check if these banks are occupied in your rebank because these cannot be duplicated okay after you do that you close and save and then you reload here and the banks should be available now what do those banks have so you have the banks for ex machina i'm going to open ex machina because i am not entirely sure if this is the default setup although i'm not using the pinch harmonics chromatic these key switches will trigger these articulations but you need to have the articulation set up like this there's more that can be done with ex machina the way that it is set up brings issues in terms of having um, more banks available, but I will talk about that when I review x -Mark. Okay, this is the simplest one. It will work for the main stuff that it does, and, and that's it, really. Now, the second one is Xer, and for Xer, you have all of the articulation set up in the correct key switches. You just you can just use them. Everything will, will work great. You can change whatever you want with the instrument itself but it will just work. Everything is set up, nothing special there. The same for Jamasta. Jamasta, you need to take something into consideration, which is this first articulation. This first articulation allows you to have uh, sustains, palm mutes, alternate sustains, alternate palm mutes and dead notes and uh, pinch harmonics only with velocities. Uh, so keep that in mind if you want to use it, but everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Next is Hellraiser. Now with Hellraiser, you will see that I don't have that many articulations. And the reason for that, let me create a MIDI here, is that things that in Studio One, for instance, I would trigger with key switches. In here, I'm, I'm triggering directly in the MIDI. So this, everything that is related with effects and not only effects but also forcing strings i'm putting directly in the midi this is actually also true for xer for instance so xer has as you'll see these notes here these are effects these green notes i'm not triggering those with rearticulate it's because of the way that rearticulate works everything that is effects that could be triggered with a key switch. I'm not going to do that with, re with Reticulate. I'm going to have that directly as a note in the MIDI editor. That's why there aren't that many here, because for the most part, the vast majority of articulations for Hellraiser and all of the guitars from this developer, everything that is related with the effects and so on, I'm going to put it directly in MIDI. That's why I have only these articulations but you'll find them there and last but not least odin now odin lots of stuff to talk here as you can see this appears to be neatly organized well it is but that's not the point it's that i have multiple banks for odin why odin has a ton of articulations and it was a lot easier to create individual banks for each group of articulations and then organize them here instead of having a one big list 
that then I would be moving stuff around to have them in the place that I want them to be. If you import the Odin stuff, you need to import all of them and then you can just move them around up and down uh, so that they are in the place where you want them to be. The main idea is that this main part is actually picks and mutes. These are the picks and mutes that are used the most and these ones are what are used the least. So dead notes and then uh, all the up picks, they, they can down here. It's the stuff that I'm going to use the least. Feel free to edit if you prefer it a different way, but these are the main picks. Now, if you look here, there's this auto picking. This auto picking is a lie. <laughs> what I mean by this is, let me increase this a little bit more. All of these articulations will leave the key being pressed because that's something that Odin 3 does not currently allow, which is the latch. If you click, click a key switch articulation, that articulation is only active while you're pressing the note. That's bad in principle. In a, the next update, this will be fixed. It's not, it's not a bug. It's the way that it works. That should be different. I know that Solemn Thumbs is going to address this. However, if you have no articulation selected, this is this def, this default one is the one that has for different velocities the dead notes the mutes the half mutes and the sustains this one on top is actually no note you can see here there's nothing written here if i choose a different one it says uh, sustain down down picked so what i call sustain down is down picked okay but if i pick this one it's nothing this is a trick that i used triggering a key switch that had nothing so that auto picking would be active even with the latch that I forced in rearticulate. Okay, that's that's the old point. Other than that, that's followed by MRONs, pull-offs, bends and so on, then slides, then the picks and mutes that I don't use, and then finally the fingering stuff. So Dropbox link in the description, you can find it there. Every time that I create something new, if I remember, I will drag my new file there. And um, yeah, feel free to use it. And I hope that this was, was helpful and that can help you with your guitar stuff. Okay, so until the next video, bye-bye.